is putting on this bandana. All right, let's do crime. She's such a bad idea. All you had to do was keep your mouth shut. I'm going to override oh, this. No. It's your life mission to cause harm. Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite shot of the whole game, this one. With As Dusk Falls, what we're trying to do is to make a brilliant, interactive experience for anyone who loves brilliant storytelling. So people who enjoy films, people who enjoy TV series. It's also a social experience and about sharing these stories with the people you love. So I think we should stick to the plan. Yes, stick to the plan. I took my inspiration from TV shows, prestige shows like, you know, Breaking Bad, Fargo. I really love Dog Day Afternoon. It's such a wonderful setup. You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag. When you write for interactive stories, it's all about the stakes. You want big choices, the tentpole ones that everyone will remember from the chapter they played. But also, you weave in the smaller stakes, the drama bit, like the relationships. Are you going to stay married? When you lost your job, this wall went up, and I missed you, OK? The game deals with very mature themes that you don't normally find in a video game. It really gives you agency over characters that are relatable, that are familiar to you. It's like an interactive story, but with the power of video game behind it. I only gotta yell and my brothers will come. Now hold your horses, young man. I think you should at least listen to what I have to say. In the first book, it's mainly structured around a hostage situation in a motel in the middle of the desert in Arizona, so it's a pressure cooker. You want your wife to live? Answer and do exactly what I say. Book two takes another uh, approach entirely, and it's a chase across multiple states in the US. Ah, ah. There's nowhere else to run. As Dust Falls is an interactive show, but the important part here is the word interactive. The players are very much needed to help the character on their journey and decide what's going to happen to them, help them grow and change. It's not like there's one golden path. There's so many different ways through the story. You can replay it and then you get to like different story and different ending and you feel like you're actually achieving something and shaping the story and also the character. Some of your true self comes out into that thinking. No, no, what would you do? I'll try to, yeah. And at the end of the game, when you play, we tell you about your playstyle, and it reveals something about the player themselves, their values and the way they interact with the others that they played with. I think for me, one of, one of the really important things was that this art style could tell lots of different types of stories. We want to take really beautiful, sort of subtle facial performances, really strong dramatic moments, and just really represent that, such that every frame is a painting. It's a single player and multiplayer experience, so one to eight players, because we wanted to draw in people who weren't necessarily gamers. Gamers are going to love this game as well because it's a very mature, in-depth story. But this game really taps into your life skills rather than your gamer skills. Puts everyone on a level playing field. You did well there. That is a ferocious job. Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me, did it? <laughs> you share the same character. You discuss, you make decisions, and majority wins. It's like each player is like a voice in the character head. Are you taking the money this time? I am definitely not. Take the cash. It's been a massive journey and I can't believe we're just like so close, touching distance to this game. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it when it's done. <laughs> <laughs>